all right guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be talking about uh everything that has to do with installing wordpress so we're going to treat how to install how to uninstall and uh, some of the do's and don'ts all right so i want to believe you are familiar with this screen this is the control panel uh if you are not uh i'm going to drop a link in the description of the video where you can watch uh, my previous videos on a walkthrough of this uh, C panel and uh, how to use some of the tools here okay so but this video is basically dedicated to um, installing and uninstalling WordPress and uh, the do's and don'ts so without much ado let's go right in all right so now to install wordpress we need to um, scroll down to um, the wordpress manager under software here by Softaculous, which we can also access WordPress here. Now the difference here is when you click on WordPress from here, it automatically takes you to an installation screen where you can install WordPress. Okay. Um, then, but if you had gone through, let's go back to. Uh, you can click on this place here hope you are following my highlighter uh you can click on this place to go back to control panel okay so but if we had gone through uh the wordpress manager there are some other things that we will be able to do for instance here you will be able to see all the installations it will also interest you to know in case you are new that uh, on one single domain take for instance this is my domain ankube.com.ng you can have as many subdomain as possible so uh take for instance this you can see this academy.ankube.com.ng and if you click on this arrow here you'll be able to pick at what the website looks like you understand so this will uh, generate a preview of how the website looks like so you can see this is a place where i uh, have some kind of courses that are free for you to enroll so you can see that then if you want to log in to this particular uh, installation or website you can simply do it from here so those are just some things you can do so i have other ones every installation that is done on this C panel you can see them here right so the one we're going to be using for this practical here is this one demo.uncobay.com.ng so let's see first uh, what is there so as you can see is a new installation just uh, uh, a fresh installation that is done so if we click on uh, this place now we can actually log in to this dashboard straight from here okay so it's loading 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 um, give it some time okay i guess this is network all right so it's coming up now so this is the dashboard for that website and of course you know when you point to this place as the name of the website you can actually right click here and see the website okay all right so this is the main website uh, as you can see it's just fresh all right so just fresh i just imported uh, a template you know 
just like that okay so now this is it now let's assume that uh, we want to uninstall this now this particular installation uh, on this demo so we can come here and uh, if we look down here you will see on install okay so when you click on is on install there are some things here that you will see if you click on this if you check the entire folder will be deleted you know it's a subdomain on your domain so the entire folder that keeps this file uh, demo will be deleted so and I don't want that so you are going to mark this out because you still want to reuse that uh, subdomain so we're going to mark this out and then these are the information about this uh, uh, particular installation then we go ahead and say remove installation okay these actions are irreversible so you say okay and uh, in just a minute this should be removed now if you go back to this place return to wordpress manager so you can go back and check and we can see let me close okay all right so it's now minimized let's see so we can see that uh, that installation is no longer here it's no longer here so now you can click on install to uh, create a new installation so this is how to install wordpress so it's still loading up so let's the first thing here you have to choose your protocol which i advise you choose either https or https www so either of these two makes your website secure then we are not using the main domain we are using the uh the demo that we just removed installation from here now and then this wp i've always advised always remember to remove it because if you do not your website will be https demo.ankube.com.ng forward slash you know wp which is not correct that's not what you want right so um so you do that then here you give your website a name i'll just leave it as my blog then here uh the description of the website so you can just say uh, uh maybe bj's uh bj's blog or whatever the, the whatever you are going to be doing on that website just give a description and of course here you can change this you can change the username here from admin so you can always say um, let's say uh, blog or you can use I can let me just say uh, mr. BJ okay then i'm going to hide this password so i'm going to hide it and then i'm going to write uh create mine so i can just type in uh okay so that's that then the email definitely i believe you will be using uh a domain so the email you've created if you don't know how to create this web mail then you can also find a video of how to create web mail or professional email still on this channel okay so maybe i'm going to link it as well in the description so we put the uh the admin email that this will be linked to and then once you've done that the next thing is just for you to scroll down you don't need to do anything here then come down but i want to show you let's see let's click on install and uh, let's scroll up and see you can see this return an error 
so this is what i want to show you this return an error why the folder where you have where you deleted uh, something from now already exists and uh, you know we didn't delete the, vo the folder and uh, because of that there are some files that are still there so all these files are still found in that place they were not totally deleted so what do you do let's click here go back to control panel and then let's go to our file manager let's go to our file manager this is still loading so if you have just deleted installation from uh, a wordpress installation is expected that i just wanted to show you i wanted to see it so um so it's expected that you go to your file manager and uh, you locate that particular folder so for this we are looking for demo candidate in your own case in some cases it will be inside you know inside this uncle be here you're going to have uh, what we call the uh the public dot uh html so in some cases it's inside there you see that folder demo but my for my hosting they don't do it that way it's listed here so this is the folder you click on it and you can see these are everything here so what do you do just come here and say select all and then you're going to do what you're going to trash it so delete and then you can skip the trash and confirm now once you do this leave it like this and uh, go back to your control panel and then you can do your installation so whichever way either from here or from the other one you click on install click on install it's still loading still loading still loading still loading okay all right so go to install and uh, select your protocol just like we did earlier pick https select the subdomain or domain as the case may be uh, erase this and uh, give description and the name of the the website then here i always ad advise you change it don't leave it as admin it makes it very easy for hackers to hack your website please so always put something only you would know so let me hide this uh, and i'm going to just type uh, my password okay so uh am i really sure what i type there <laughs> let me type again just to confirm and be sure okay so once we do that we go down and we click on install and let's go up so we should have a success message in a minute okay good so this is it and that is how we do what install and uninstall wordpress so from here you can go to your dashboard and uh, here you can visit your website so here is the website that you've just created and uh, here is your dashboard so from here you can pick it over and start building your website if you need more details on how to build your website you'll find lots of videos on this channel uh, especially the one i released recently recently there is a video i released recently if you go to uh just go to um your browser and type uh, uncle b media network so you can see here so you, it will take you to my youtube channel directly uh which of course is what you are watching now so um here you're going to see uh the video i just uh uploaded recently about a month ago 
okay so here you are going to see uh the video i just uploaded recently about a month ago so if you look at it here this is it uh so you can see this so All right, so you can watch this and Mind uh, you can uh, get understanding on how the domain is the name you want to be here on the internet take for instance face so you can watch this and uh, an open source content management software in this year that enables users to create new, websites uh, with the new uh, interface of wordpress this will show you the latest on the interface of wordpress and how to use it so i believe this video has uh, added value to you if it has does please give it a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in another video thanks for watching